Oh, hi. Didn't see you there. My name's Graham Prince. You know, it's been about six months since I had my last cigarette. I must say, things are going quite swimmingly. But for those of you who don't have the willpower to just say, hey, I don't need to smoke anymore, I've got a couple tips for you. For starters, find yourself another addiction that's slightly less dangerous, like coffee for instance. See, by rotating your staple in life from smoking to coffee, you're sort of tricking your brain into uh, another addiction that's slightly less dangerous. But uh, there's also some other things you can do to stop smoking. You can uh, distract yourself with toilet paper. Look at me! I'm distracting myself with toilet paper! Or, uh, you know, if that doesn't work, you know, there's uh, other things like uh, electrical tape, you know? You can be like, look at me! I'm distracting myself with electrical tape! Ow! Nice. Or, you know, there's other things too, like you can wear a hat on your head. Look at me! I'm wearing a hat on my head! It's distracting! See, look, there's three things right there. I've already been distracted from having a cigarette. A couple more extreme measures, you know? You can take this large sword, as you can see right here, and I can just poke myself in the chest. Ah, oh, look, look at me! I'm poking myself in the chest! Look, see right there. I don't want to think about smoking if I'm bu too busy trying to stab myself. See, it's just it's just the little things in life that help you out, you know? Like a back scratcher, for instance. Look at me, I'm a back scratcher. I scratch backs. See, look at that, look at that. The back scratcher isn't thinking about smoking either. And neither do you. That's why if you follow my uh, five-step process here of all these things that distract you, you too can quit smoking.